What is going on, everybody? How is everybody doing today? And we are going to take it back to six NBA drafts ago, and we are going to be reacting to 2014 NBA draft grades by Bleacher Report. So shout out to Adam Framo who made this article. The link to the article will be in the description like always. So we are taking it back to the Joel Embiid, the Andrew Wiggins, Jabari Parker, Marcus Smart draft class and we're going to be reacting to what they thought were some good draft picks and some bad ones on draft night. So this is team by team. I liked it better when it was pick by pick but this is full team by team report card. So let's get into this. I wonder if I can like remember um, the uh, the uh, like every team's first round pick. This, there are 60 new members of the NBA fraternity. Okay. So, Atlanta Hawks. Do I know who the Hawks took in round one? Was it Adrian Payne from Michigan State? I feel like it was. Okay. Yeah, it was. So, he, they took him 15th overall. He They gave that a B plus. He actually was a good player in college, and I thought he was going to actually be pretty solid in the NBA. That did not happen. He wasn't very good for the Atlanta Hawks. They also took Walter Tavares. Oh, my God. I remember using him in 2K and my team. And then Lamar Patterson. Neither one of these three picks really panned out to be anything in the NBA, so a B plus is generous. Honestly, a C minus, a D plus probably for these picks. So Boston here, they took Marcus Smart in this draft. Um, so Smart was the sixth overall pick. This was like the one year Boston decided to rebuild in the last like 20 years, and their rebuild was just so quick because then they made the obviously the KG trade, and yeah, they ended up getting Tatum and Brown, and ended up getting the picks for Kyrie out of that. So they took Smart. They also got James Young at 17. That's the infamous Bill Simmons like fist bump when they took him. He wasn't very good, but Marcus Smart alone should give them a B. Uh, and then that's it. So honestly, this is a B plus, A minus getting smart. There was some busts in the top 10, top 15. So Marcus Smart has turned into a fine player. One of the best, if not the best perimeter defender from this draft. So that is a very solid pick um, at six. And that should be a, probably a little bit higher, but maybe the James Young pick can uh, dwindle it down a little bit. Brooklyn here. I don't even remember who Brooklyn took. Did they have a first round pick? They probably did. I don't know. Uh, so they took, oh, they did. So Markel Brown from Oklahoma State. Didn't do much in the NBA. And Xavier Thomas from San Diego State. Corey Jefferson, Mr. Irrelevant. Neither one of these three players really did anything. They were all second round picks. So this should probably be a C. Obviously, in second round picks, you're not expecting them to do too much in the NBA. So I think a C would be a fair grade B. A little bit high. Uh, so what team we got next? Charlotte. Charlotte. Was this Noah Vonley? No. He was, was he later? He might have been 2015. Was this? This isn't Cody Zeller. That was 2012. Who did the Hornets take here? I forget. Uh, if I can't remember it in like, okay, I don't remember. So they took, uh, was it Vomley? It was Vomley. Okay. It, it gave this an A. All right. They also took PJ Harrison, uh, from the D league, but he went to UNC and he got kicked out, I think for smoking weed or something. I forgot what it was. And then Samaj Christian from Xavier. Yeah. A B or an A very high. Noah Vomley pretty much was a bust for the Hornets. He had that one good year for the Knicks last year, but he was also playing on the worst team in the NBA. So an A is way too much. Probably a C, a C minus for these three picks, especially because you spent a top 10 pick on Noah Vonley. Uh, next, we got Chicago. Who did Chicago? Oh, no. This is the Doug McDermott pick, right? This is the Doug McDermott. Yeah, where they traded away Gary Harris and a bunch of later picks that we'll get to. So, yeah, they ended up trading uh, the 16th and 19th picks to Denver. I know one of them was Gary Harris. I forgot who the 19th pick was because uh, I think they the Nuggets also got Jok uh, Jokic in the second round here. I forget who they got, and uh, it's probably, like, obviously pretty clear. Was it Will Barton? No, Will Barton was the second round pick. I forgot. Maybe it was Plum. No, they traded for Plum. I don't know. But, yeah, Doug McDermott really didn't work out for the Bucks. Um, He ended up, not for the Bucks, the Bulls, excuse me. He ended up, what, going to Denver? Or he went to Dallas, and then the Knicks, or no, the Knicks signed him and then traded him for Moody A, and he just really never worked out in, like, his first couple teams. But, you know, he found a home in Indiana. But for the Bulls, trading two picks for Doug McDermott, this is a D plus probably for them. Cameron Bears, though, they ended up trading him to get Dinwiddie and then cut Dinwiddie. So, not a B. Not a B draft for them looking back on it. Uh, Cavs, they took, obviously, Andrew Wiggins. They were able to get Ken, uh, Kevin Love out of that. Uh, did, does it mention that they might trade him? No, because obviously uh, all in the hopes that LeBron James might eventually come back to the team that originally drafted him, but it's not filled by Andrew Wiggins and his interest in wardrobe choice. Yeah, uh, I mean, this pick... Can still be an A minus. It was the no-brainer pick at the time, and also I'm pretty sure Jabari Parker kind of like threw out um, or threw um, kind of trashed his own Cleveland workouts because he really wanted to go to Milwaukee. And yeah, Wiggins, uh, he's not lived up to the hype of the number one pick, but it got them Kevin Love, and Kevin Love helped them win a championship. So an A minus is fine. And then also they took Joe Harris, who was a very good second-round pick. Didn't do much for Cleveland. Obviously, he did a lot better after getting picked up by Brooklyn. But they also took Dwight Powell. 
Oh, yeah, this is definitely an A minus draft. They just drafted three really good NBA players here. Um, well, I mean, like, good at, like, they can play in the NBA. Like, Wiggins, Harris, and Powell are all, like, notable rotational guys and are playing a decent amount on their teams or on their respective teams. So, this is actually a really solid draft. Uh, but I believe this was still David Griffin at the time before Colby Altman got there. All right, next we got Denver. So, they got Gary Harris. And then who else? Oh, Nurkic. Yeah. And then they ended up trading Nurkic in a first for Plumlee because Nurkic wanted to start. But yeah, pretty good draft in A minus. This honestly could be an A. Did they get any? I forgot. Well, duh, they got Jokic. This should be an A plus. This is a phenomenal draft by Tim Conley. And if uh, our two Ross Carney Silvas was there, because they got Nurkic, they got Harrison Jokic, kind of two starters for them now, and one MVP caliber player, uh, one good rotational guy, and then Nurkic. I mean, they really didn't get to use his full potential because he couldn't play next to Jokic. But this is a this is a stud draft right here by the Denver Nuggets. Shout out to that front office here. Um, but yeah. That should be an A+. Uh, Detroit, they took... I'm guessing they took Dinwiddie in the second round. Who was their first round pick? Uh, Stanley Johnson was 15. I forget who their 2014 first was. It was... Oh, they didn't have one. Okay. So, Spencer Dinwiddie at 38, and they gave this an A. I guess he didn't like this pick. Spencer Dinwiddie, for the 30th pick, has turned into an A, A plus in the NBA. But he didn't do much for Detroit. I believe they treated him for Cameron Barristow. So, yeah. I mean, for, for the... Spencer Dinwiddie for the Pistons, a D. But Spencer Dinwiddie overall getting him at 38, an A or an A+. Plus. Uh, I'm glad he found a, a nice home in uh, Brooklyn. Houston, they took... Who is that? Is that Terrence Jones? No, that's Clint Capella. Duh. He just looks so young in that. Um, that was really embarrassing to call him Terrence Jones. Uh, but yeah, B+. Plus is that their... Okay, so they got Nick Johnson. Oh, remember him from Arizona? He didn't do much. And Alessandro uh, Gentle, he didn't do much in the NBA either. So, but that Clint Capella pick alone should be at least an A-. minus. If you want to bring... You know that A minus to a B plus due to two whips on the second round picks, sure. But that alone, this is an A pick and Clint Capella at twenty five. Wow, he looks so young in that to me. Uh, next we got the Clippers. I don't know who they took off the top of my head. T.J. Wilcox. Oh, we gave this an F. All right, kind of feisty. I like it here. Um, and you know what? Chris Wilcox hasn't done anything for the Clippers or didn't really do anything. So. I'm okay with that. I like that. I like giving these grades some Fs. Uh, so, yeah, that ended up uh, coming true. Lakers in 2014. This is Julius Randle, right? Yeah, he what, he broke his leg in his first game played. He ended up turning into a nice player for the Lakers. Nothing great, but for the seventh pick, Noah Vonley went two picks after. So, he turned into a fine player for the Lakers. Uh, they also got Jordan Clarkson in the second round. Yeah, this shift's an A, at least off getting Jordan Clarkson in the second round. And then Randle turned into a solid player for the Lakers. I, w I would say he's a very overrated player in real life, um, just for what he is. But a, a, a plus, sure. The Lakers really hit on two of their draft picks, and I'm okay with that grade. Uh, Memphis here. They took Jordan Adams. Ooh, A plus grade. Any good second round picture? No, Stokes. No, this is a D minus. This is a D minus. Not a very good. Um, that's a little generous. Generous of a grade. An A plus to the uh, Grizzlies there. Uh, Miami. So they. Who even is that? Is that... Why do I think that looks like Miles Bridges? All right. Uh, Shabazz Napier. Uh, okay, so this is when LeBron left. And the... I was just kind of thrown off by the Hornets hat. And LeBron was like, get get Napier. He's the boy. Yeah, LeBron James. He wanted the point guard. Yeah, he got the point guard that he wanted. But um, no way you take another point guard in the lottery before Napier tweeted out the four-time uh, MVP back in April. Can I see this tweet? Because um, I kind of want to... I kind of want to retweet it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to retweet this, honestly. <laughs> Gotcha. Um, and then, yes, yeah, so A+, plus, he didn't really turn off for the Heat. He's bounced around on the Nets, the Trailblazers, the Timberwolves. He's been on a bunch of teams, uh, but he's turned into an okay player, like a third point guard that you would want him to be. Um, and he was, he, yeah, third point guard, maybe a second on a bad team. But yeah, A plus is very generous. I would probably give that to a, a C, maybe. Um, Milwaukee here, Jabari Parker, obviously. It's unfortunate. Maybe he would have been a really, really good offensive player and his defense wasn't going to be as bad as it is today if he didn't tear his ACL twice. So, an A+. Plus. Obviously, it's kind of unfair to say anything else. Uh, Damian Ingles um, and Johnny O'Brien didn't really do much in anybody. Actually, it is fair to say anything else. If, I mean, what he turned out for the Bucks, a, a D. A D, unfortunately. Maybe a C because you know, he had some solid games for them. Obviously, it just sucks that he tore his ACL twice because he was going to be a really good player in the NBA. So... Not an A+. Plus. Uh, I would give this a C. 
Let's see. Um, it sucks, though, that he tore his ACL twice. Minnesota, Zach Levine. Uh, this was a really good pick for the 13th overall, uh, given that some players around him weren't nearly as good. Adrian Payne got selected two picks later. Uh, anybody else? Glenn Robinson the third, a very solid second-round pick from Michigan. And, yeah, you know what? An A, I think that's a perfect grade. He was a big piece in the Jimmy Butler trade, and Glenn Robinson the third has turned into a nice rotational player in the NBA, uh, being on the Sixers, obviously Minnesota, Golden State, so and Detroit. So, you know what? This is a good grade, and A is definitely fair. Uh, the Pelicans here, they got Russ Smith. Oh, my God, he balled out for Louisville. Isn't this... Yeah, wasn't the championship game... Oh, no, 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 no. Russ Smith, I thought he was on that Louisville team when they lost to Trey Burke's Michigan team. He might have actually been, because Russ Smith was definitely not an underclassman. Um, Rustic... Okay, Jesus. But, yeah, C-. minus. He didn't do much in the NBA. I really liked watching Russ Smith, and then there was, like, Peyton Silva at Louisville. But, yeah, he didn't do much in the NBA, so C- minus is fine could do anything lower than that. Nixon 2014. Wasn't this going to be... No, 2016 was the Murray pick. Actually, didn't they have their first round pick? Well, they got Clay Anthony early. Yeah, it was... I forgot what... I think it was the Mellow trade where they didn't get their first. And they got the Nassus onto the Kupo. Uh, the wrong onto the Kupo. And Louis Labore. Um, Clay Anthony early was garbage. And they really liked this pick. Not an A-plus whatsoever. None of these picks worked out for the Knicks. So, uh, yeah, I guess he was really hot on Clay Anthony early coming out of Wichita. So many good Wichita players of uh or so many good nba players or solid nba players have come out of uh came out of wichita like Landry shamit fred van vliet <laughs> ron baker but not really uh clay anthony early definitely wasn't one of them so uh moving over to okc here is this campaign now this is mitch mcgarry uh campaign i think was 20 is he 2013 or 15 uh i think he was i forgot he might have been 20 i forgot but mitch mcgarry from michigan wasn't very good in the nba so b minus is probably a little bit too high josh Houston, he played a little bit in the NBA, but oh, he was also a first round pick. And yeah, C, a B minus high. This should be probably a D plus, C minus. Uh, Magic, this is Alfred. Oh, no, this is Aaron Gordon. Alfred Payton was. Uh, oh, and they also have Alfred Payton, right, from this draft? Uh, yeah, so Aaron Gordon, definitely an A minus. I would say he's turned into a fine player for the fourth overall pick. He's had a couple borderline all star years, but nothing crazy, but he's definitely turned into a top 50 player. Uh, eh, he's probably a top 65, 70 player in the NBA. Um, and he, he's a good player on both ends. So that's solid. Alfred Payton really didn't work out. They could have had Dario Sarge, but they swapped those picks there. Alfred Payton, he definitely didn't reach up to his potential. He's had his stretches. Remember with the Pelicans, he had like five straight triple doubles. Didn't turn into much. And Devin Marble, yeah, wasn't anything. I would probably lower this because Payton really wasn't a great 10th overall pick. Zach Levine went two picks after. I would probably lower this to a B plus. Yeah. Uh, moving over to Philly, they got Joel Embiid. This should be an A+. A lot of people didn't really like this pick at the time, maybe a little, or maybe some people thought he was going to go one or two, or should have gone one or two at the time. Uh, he obviously didn't play till his third year, um, which was everyone's like, oh, he's a plus. But yeah, he's been favorably compared to Kim Olajuwon for a good reason. Yeah, for sure. He's been he's been an MVP type guy. Uh, also, Darius Archer helped um, get Jimmy Butler. KJ McDaniels, uh, he was a beast in 2K. And Jeremy Grant, you know what? Uh, but I still, uh, Mikic, I definitely butchered that. And Jordan McCray, who's still on the team. You know what? This is an A-plus draft, I think. Um, yeah, the couple, what are you, five, uh, four of these six players are still, like, rotational players. One's an MVP type guy. One's a starter. Uh, the other one is a team just gave up a good NBA team. The Nuggets just gave up a first-round pick to get him. And also, Jordan McCray, uh, is, I believe, on Washington, or he's been on Washington, Phoenix, and Denver this year. He's been on Detroit now. He's been on a bunch of teams. But hey, he's still on the NBA team. Uh, so that's a good draft. Phoenix, they got... Who did they take in this draft? Uh, 20, 2014. They took... Oh, I want to figure this out. Alex Len was 2013. Uh, why can't I think? Was it the Morris Twins? No, Morris Twins were way before 2014. I don't know, but it was definitely a top 10 pick. And I just can't think of it. Who was their 2014 pick right before Devin Booker? Right before... De I don't know, but it's going to be like, oh, when I see it. Um, why can't I tell by the pick? <laughs> I'm so bad at guessing this. Oh, TJ Ward. Yeah, TJ Ward. That was a nice pick out of NC State, too. Uh, damn, I... I you probably asked me. You would have gave me a million dollars if I can guess them. I was like... I don't know off the top of my head. Oh, uh, but yeah, TJ Ward. Uh, honestly, uh, anybody else? Tower Ennis... Remember, he hit that game winner at Syracuse. Uh, Bogdan, but they ended up trading him for Marquise Chris um, and Alec Brown. Honestly, based off these players, getting Warren at 14 and Bogdan at 27, this is an A-minus draft, I think, even though Tyler Ennis was kind of a bust and Alec Brown didn't do anything in the NBA. But TJ Warren was a really good 14th pick, but the Suns decided to just give him away. But a B-plus, I think, is fair. I would probably give this an A-minus. 
Kind of pissed that I didn't get that. But yeah, the Suns almost made the playoffs that year. Next team we got is the Sacramento Kings. Oh, which bad pick was this? Nick Stauskas. Yes. Okay. Eighth overall. Not a very good pick. They gave this an A-, minus, and this is probably a D. Yeah, they traded him and a bunch of other guys to Philly and gave up a first-round pick, which was the Romeo Langford pick to the Celtics, um, just to get off some of that salary, but he was included in that trade. Next, we have San Antonio, where they took Kyle Anderson at 30, and Nemanja Bangu, uh, Bangubic. Uh, he didn't do much in the NBA, but Anderson... For the 30th pick, that's an A because he's been a solid rotational player and obviously he worked out well in the San Antonio system. He didn't really play as good for like Memphis. But you know what? Solid. I would probably lower it from an A+, plus, give it an A. Uh, but yeah, next we got Toronto. Bruno Caboclo, two years away from being two years away. He hasn't done much in the NBA. I believe he's on Memphis now and I'd probably give this a, a D. Uh, unless they got anybody else. DeAndre Daniels, no, nah, nothing. And then this is the Dante Axum, right? Yep. Uh, they gave this an A. Who knows? Maybe he was going to be a real good NBA player, but he tore his ACL twice, I believe, as well. Wow. The 2014 draft class. Two, I mean, Embiid was hurt his first two years. Parker tore his ACL twice. I believe Exum did tear his ACL twice. Rodney Hood was a fine pick, though, for 23, definitely. Um, that alone, like, that's an A overall, getting a solid rotational guy at 23. And Exum, maybe he would have panned out if he didn't uh, tear his ACL twice. So, that sucks. But, uh, yeah. Ooh, Trey Burke, a couple years prior, or the year prior. Yeah, not, not great for the... Uh, uh, the uh, Jazz on drafting guards, but hey, they ended up drafting Donovan Mitchell three years later. So that is going to wrap out the 2014 draft grades. Let me know what you agree with, disagree with, uh, based on what I said or what's in the article. Let me know what surprised you. Do you forget that some of these players were just kind of ranked so high? Um, or do you think some of these players so low? Like, wow, he fell in the draft. Because uh, I honestly forgot that the Nuggets got Jokic, Harris, and uh, Yusuf Nurkic all in one draft, like just off the top of my head. Like I knew uh, Gary Harris and Jokic were from the same draft, but I completely forgot Nurkic was 2014 as well. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Like always, if you guys are enjoying these, don't forget to drop a thumbs up. Thank you all for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you guys next video. Peace.